right, you, do, you have to buy one of these uh, 3D printers and you don't know what to choose. A good one, high end, uh, against the low end. So I'm going to show you the difference. So that way you can decide yourself if you want to do that or not. I'm going to turn it off, otherwise it's very noisy. But the, the one of the disadvantages about these uh, printers. So the good thing about the, the high end, for instance, in this case, the Bamboo Lab, this is not the most expensive one. They have one that is, uh, I think, about 1,000. This is like six, uh, 600. And the good thing about this is it's very quiet. <laughs> And um, this, this one is going to start making the noise, you know, the fan noise that you see here all the time. And I'm going to tell you, for instance, you don't have to calibrate it or anything like that. Just with this, you just, you just take it out of the box and it works. You don't have to do anything. With this one, you take it out of the box and then you have to start putting all the parts together. You have to assemble it. <laughs> Another thing. Uh, you see these uh, wheels that you see here, you have to ca calibrate it. And even if you calibrate it the, the way they say, with the paper and everything, it's a pain in the butt. And you're not going to <laughs> have it like perfect all the time. I mean, most of the time it, it will work. And then after a while, you know, you will have to calibrate it again because this will start moving over time. With this, you don't have to do anything. You send to print and it prints. And I... I, I, I before printing, this will start uh, just calibrating the, the bed automatically and you don't have to do anything. So that is amazing. Another thing, this is glass. Uh, this is metal. So once you print the, the device, I mean the, the 3D object that you want to print, it, this is easy. Just move it like that. This is metal and you can, you know, bend it a little bit and then that will make your life easier when you have to remove this. And this is magnet. You have a magnet here, so that is a good thing. This machine is very fast, very quiet. You barely notice it that is running. Also, the display is great. You can uh, control it from here and from your phone as well. With this, it's just only from here, and that's it. There is no other way to control anything. <laughs> um, if you print something and thing goes wrong, uh, it will keep printer until it finish or everything gets messed up uh, very badly. Um, you have to stop it from here. With this, uh, you have an app and you can control it with your, with your phone and you, then you can see everything because here on the side, it comes with a camera and, and then you can see everything that, you know, how is everything going. If everything goes bad or something like that, you can stop it, you can pause it. You can do almost anything. Most uh, printers, they have the option that if there is an outage, they will continue, uh, you know, from the point that uh, was uh, printed la last time. And that's it. Uh, that That is like most common in both printers. Maybe if the old ones, they're very, very old ones, they don't have that capability. Uh, other thing, uh, I, again, this is very quiet, runs, uh, is fast, fast faster than anything else so this is one of the facets one that you can uh, go to, that you're going to get with this and in size i mean you don't have anything that is protruding like you see here and the, the menu here at least in this model is color but it doesn't matter with this i mean yeah make it a little bit uh, nicer and you can control here a, a little bit i mean this, this is not touch screen or anything like that it's kind of a pain in the butt just almost to do anything here. If you have to update this, it's a pain in the butt. You have to rely on the SD card. Here you can you have the SD card as well, but again, I, you can do everything wirelessly. So you don't have to do anything. If there is an update, you can control it from, from here uh, wirelessly. Um, the, the screen is black and white, so that is not a big deal. Um, but uh, you have a software that you can control, you know, uh, from your computer. If you have a Mac, if you have a Windows, you can design things. Uh, the same thing with this. The, with this, it comes with the software. You can design things. But uh, every time you finish something, you have to uh, convert the file. I think it is she um, code or something like that. Um, with this one, you just send it to print and it will print. You don't have to convert it to do anything. So it's ready to go. Uh, this system sometimes, you know, gets stuck uh, here when this goes up and down. 
um, to, to clean it is a pain in the butt here. You have to take it all apart. In this one, I print many, many things. I never had to clean it or do anything like that. And um, it seems like the, the system, the way it is right now, is much better to have it like that. And this, you know, goes uh, uh, left, right, up and down and everything. So it's easy to, to, st to start. Also, it will do an auto test. Uh, with auto test, you're going to have these things <laughs> and it's going to fall from here. So that is why it's full of that. And as you can see, uh, it has a, a nice software. The software is very good. Uh, very good. I like it better than the other one. I mean, and it runs amazingly good. I mean, I'll try to plug this in. There we go. You see, no noise, no nothing. You will see the um, here the the screen. You can control everything here. This is not touch screen or anything like that. But you can see, you know, the IP, you can see everything from here. And if something needs to be done, you can see from here. You can leave it even on 24 seven. Like usually that is what I do when I'm printing and, and I have many projects that I have to do. I leave it on and it's quiet. There is nothing. <laughs> this one, you, even if you're printing or not, you're not printing, you will hear the, the fan working all the time so that is very annoying so that is what those are one of the main differences and as you can see here it says new update is available update now click done so th that is all you have to to do in order to update it you don't have to do anything with this it's a pain in the butt tech support is okay tech support with this eh, it's kind of okay so but uh, this one i think is much much better product